Good day and welcome to another Micrographics vlog. We are an Autodesk partner and reseller. My name is Sean Bauer and I will be presenting this vlog today, 10 February 2025. I am an Applications Engineer and an Autodesk AECO Technical Consultant with Micrographics. And today's topic is Revit versus Revit LT 2025 understanding the differences. <clears throat> if you find this vlog to be informative, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future vlogs. On the agenda for today, there will be an introduction, the core capabilities of Revit and Revit LT, Revit and Revit LT, the link and import options, then the key differences between the two and choosing the right option for yourself and a conclusion on the introduction when it comes to BIM building information modeling Autodesk Revit has long been a preferred tool for architects engineers and construction professionals however Autodesk offers two distinct versions of Revit the full version and the Revit LT LT stands for Limited Technology. While both aim to support building design and documentation, the differences in features, capabilities and pricing often determine which version suits specific project needs. This vlog will delve into the key differences between the two, highlighting the capabilities of both and focusing on the limitations of Revit LT. This information will help professionals make an informed decision when choosing the software that aligns with their workflow. The core capabilities of Revit and Revit LT. Both Revit 2025 and Revit LT 2025 provide essential tools for creating intelligent 3D building models and producing accurate construction documentation. The core features shared by both versions include 3D modeling and documentation. Both versions allow the creation of parametric 3D models, which are used to generate coordinated 2D drawings automatically. Users can produce floor plans, sections, elevations and schedules derived directly from the 3D model. With the capabilities to create callout views and adding detailing in a 2D environment, such as drafting views or detailed views or legends. This includes keynotes and structured symbol families with parametric data, like assigning materials and adding a label to those elements which can be scheduled. Parametric components, rivet families are an integral part to both versions, enabling users to create and use parametric components for walls, windows, doors, roofs, floors, stairs, ramps, and other building elements. Schedules, automatically created and generated from the model. It, this is possible in both versions, ensuring accurate data for quantities and project analysis. Schedules can be filtered, group, sorted, and additional filters can be added, such as a firewall rating or a rule-based filter. Rendering. Rendering is possible with both, but limited for Revit LT. It only includes basic rendering capabilities using Autodesk Cloud Rendering Services, while the full version offers advanced in-software rendering options. Support for industry standards. Both versions support IFC export for interoperability with other BIM tools, making them compliant with industry standards. Despite these shared features, the differences become apparent in advanced capabilities, collaboration tools and design workflows. Rivet and Rivet LT, the link and import options under the insert tabs. Both uh, um, versions offer linking Revit, IFC, CAD, topographies, and DWF markups. 
Only Revit Full offers decals and point cloud links, and they both can link in coordinated models. You can link PDFs and link images. Managing those links are exactly the same with both versions. You're able to import CAD, PDF, and image on both, where Revit Full can also import GBXML files. In the load from the library options, if you want to load in external families, you can load families through the load family option, through the load Autodesk family option, you can load it as a group or insert from a file, whether it's a 2D file or drafting view or such. And then the Revit full version also includes the content catalog for collaborative families that you share amongst your company or others. The key differences between Revit and Revit LT, plus the option for Revit LT workarounds. In some cases, there are workaround options if you do not have the full version. There are times where Revit LT is exactly what you need, but perhaps you would like to use your Revit models with Lumion as an example. Then a workaround is ideal. So we'll start with the feature column and then go look at the differences between the Revit Full and Revit LT, and then the workaround for Revit LT. So work sharing and collaboration. The full version supports work sharing, allowing multiple users to collaborate on a central model. The LT version, there's no work sharing. Users work on individual projects files only. The workaround for Revit LT is using file-based collaboration, so manually saving and sharing your Revit files. Rendering, the full version offers advanced in-software rendering and real-time visualization tools, whereas the Revit LT only supports cloud rendering via the Autodesk service, which is an additional cost. You can buy cloud um, points and render in the cloud. The workaround for Revit LT would be to export your Revit model as a FBX or DWG or different file format and render that in a different software such as Lumion, Twinmotion, Blender or others. <coughs> MEP and structural modeling. The full version includes tools for mechanical, electrical and plumbing and structural design. Additionally to that, also steel and precast and fabrication tools are available. Whereas Revit LT, the MEP and structural modeling tools are not available. You do have a structured tab with a few tools such as a foundation for a wall. The workaround for Revit LT would be to use separate MEP or structural software like AutoCAD MEP then link the files into Revit LT as a DWG file, for example. Analysis tools. The full version supports energy analysis, structural analysis and MEP system analysis. The Revit LT, there are no built-in analysis tools. Export the model to Autodesk Insights or Green Building Studio for external analyses or send your model to Forma as a workaround. Third-party add-ins and API support. The full version supports third-party add-ins, plugins and API customization. The Revit LT, there is no support for third-party add-ins or API customization or any form of extensions. The workaround for LT would be there's no direct workaround. You must rely on the built-in tools or a manual process. Design options. Allow multiple design options. Um, the full version allows multiple design options for comparison. The Revit LT, there's no design option feature available. You can save as your file and create a different design option if the client decided to change the design choice. And the workaround for Revit LT is duplicating those views and models and manually tracking the different design alternatives. So phasing. The full version supports project phasing for construction sequencing, as built drawings, demolition plans, temporary uh, additions, 
uh, existing structures versus new construction is available in the full version, whereas in the Revit LT, no phasing tools are available. Use duplicate files with manual phase tracking. The Revit full version regarding point cloud integration, you can import and manage point cloud data for renovations and site modeling, whereas Revit LT, there is no point cloud support. The workaround for LT would be to convert the point cloud data to a DWG file format and import it as a reference. Shared coordinates. Um, Revit Full supports shared coordinates for accurate site and multidiscipline collaboration. Whereas Revit LT, there's no support, there's no shared coordinate functionality. You have to manually align the models using linked DWG files. View filters and customization. Revit Full ad, um, has advanced view filters for precise control over visual representation. Whereas Revit LT has a basic view management and it lacks detailed customization. The workaround would be to use your visibility and graphic overrides to mainly control the visibility or through your view templates. Site and massing tools. This includes site modeling, topo surface and conceptual massing tools for the Revit full version and for LT. There are no site modeling or massing tools available. You do have the topography, but the massing of those elements are not available. You can use AutoCAD Civil 3D or SketchUp for site modeling and import that into Revit LT as a DWG file, or you can convert your topo solid with AutoCAD file um, into a topography or topo solid now in 2025. Interoperability, IFC, DWG, and more. The Revit full version supports multiple file formats, including those, whereas the Revit LT supports a limited interoperability, but lacks the full multidiscipline support. You can, however, convert the files to the supported formats like DWG, FBX, IFC before importing them. Cloud collaboration, the BIM 360 or Autodesk Construction Cloud. The full version is compatible with the Autodesk Construction Cloud for cloud-based collaboration. Revit LT, there's no cloud collaboration support. Use external file sharing platforms like Dropbox or OneDrive to share files manually. Customizable families. Revit Full allows creation and modification of Revit families. Um, Revit LT supports families, but has limited um, customization versus the full version. And you can create families in the Revit Full version and load them into Revit LT. The third party extensions like Lumin and Enscape. The full version supports live sync between those softwares and other visualization plugins. LT, there's no ability to install third party um, add ins or extensions. You can export your models um, to manually import them into Lumion and Enscape, for example, for to do your rendering or your visualization. Cost, Revit full version is a higher subscription cost due to advanced features. Revit LT is more affordable, but with significant limitations. And the workaround information would be consider additional software investments to compensate for those missing features. So choosing the right option, the decision between Revit Full and Revit LT often hinges on the complexity of projects, team size and budget considerations. For small firms or individual practitioners, Revit LT is a cost-effective choice for professionals focused on architectural modeling and basic documentation. It's ideal for solo practitioners or firms with a more simple workflow. For collaborative and multidisciplinary projects, the Revit full version is essential for teams requiring real-time collaboration, advanced analysis and integration with other disciplines. The ability to share and coordinate models makes it indispensable for large or complex projects. For engineers and consultants, Revit full version supports um, the MEP and structural modeling, along with analytical tools that makes it better a choice for engineers and sustainability consultants. For visualization enthusiasts, 
Revit for the full versions, for a robust rendering capabilities and integration with visualization tools provide a significant edge for creating high quality presentations with the option of add-ons and extensions such as Lumion. So in conclusion, while Autodesk Revit LT 2025 provides a streamlined version of the full Revit experience, its limitation in collaboration, rendering, in-place families, advanced modeling tools, and analysis capabilities make it best suited for specific use cases. In contrast, the full version of Revit 2025 offers a comprehensive set of tools that cater to the needs of diverse disciplines and complex projects. Understanding these differences ensures that professionals select the software that aligns with their project demands and long-term goals. Whether you are working solo or as part of a multidisciplinary team, Autodesk provides solutions tailored to your needs, helping you build a better and smarter model. Thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us here at Micrographics. Hope you found this vlog informative. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And don't forget to like and hit that notification bell for future vlogs. Thank you and goodbye.